My name is Nancy Saunders. I'm originally from Northern Quebec. Um, I am a visual artist, a uh, multidisciplinary visual artist, I guess. I'm, I don't stay, I don't want to stay on one, uh, one medium because I'm so curious about all of them. So I draw, I do carvings, um, throat singing. Apparently I'm a photographer too. <laughs> No, um, I like to take photos. Um, what else? Sewing, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. I've always been an artist in my own right. Uh, growing up, um, my dad likes telling the story where I used to cry because I didn't think of myself as a good enough drawer. <laughs> he, he says that I would cry because I didn't. My vision wasn't coming out. Uh, like I wanted, I'd go camping and I'd bring my pencils and everything. But uh, I've always been an artist in my own right where I wanted to, as a young child, I wanted to learn how to dance, I wanted to be a pianist. I'd asked for a grand piano for Christmas in Kujuek, and I was like nine, like that wasn't happening. <laughs> um, and I was very like attentive to detail. And uh, But it's really like four years ago, five years ago, when like a Something happened in my family that uh, really got me questioning about what I wanted to do um, and what my dreams were. And I decided like, not to make it wait anymore because you never know, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to leave my plans undone and my hopes undone. So um, I just decided to like, throw myself so hard in it. So <laughs> four or five years ago, I decided to start sharing my stuff. Yeah, and ever since it's just been exploding. I shared one thing and it just like exploded. Um, the work that I do um, is always about culture, um, always about my my heritage. Um, I I want to show the beauty of my culture and the beauty of my heritage and the. The, the, the richness, the rich, the richness, I guess you could say in English, I don't know, um, about who we are and where we come from and who we are today, where we're going. Like, so it's always about uh, culture. But right now I've been uh, uh, focusing a little, I think maybe more on material. So uh, working with non-traditional drawing tools like the feather and the ulu and I was talking with someone since I've been here about making ink from the land. I used uh, water to make some watercolor scenes from my home, water from my river. Uh, so I am working a lot on uh, the material and what it can create. That's kind of where I'm going right now. Yeah. Ah, yeah, about beauty. I mean, about Inuit. I mean, I like doing pretty things. <laughs> Like making okay. things. No, we all I, like to look at your pretty Yeah. <laughs> well, I. It's always about. Um, always about these, these parts of Inuit culture that nobody really knows about. You know, they always know. Like they know the hunter, the the igloo, and the inukshuk, and the stoic. You know, or the seamstress. But I, I kind of want to show like deeper, like more quiet parts of our culture. Well, they're all over, man. There's Mati Sieto for one. Mati Sieto being a, an artist, a carver from uh, uh, Ibuyuik. Uh, just a beautiful man, very, very generous. Um, oh, I can't, I, I wouldn't even be able to give you names. I uh, So many. Um, Oh, I, to have my stuff here at the Toronto Art Fair is wild. <laughs> it's so crazy. Like four years ago, I was, uh, or five years ago, I was just doing some you know, small little things in my living room, and my boyfriend said, "Like, why don't you try to sell these?" And I figured, like, nobody wants to see this stuff. And then all of a sudden, I'm five years later, I'm at the Art Toronto. It's wild. I mean, so much. I've met so many people. Um, in the short weekend that I've been here, uh, I've met uh, artists that I admire very much. Uh, 
is the Rebecca Belmore that I that I got to meet. Uh, I've I've had a chance to meet Kent Monkman. Uh, I mean, very uh, like leading artists in Aboriginal art world. I've uh, met uh, Robert Poole. They're so down to earth and so generous and. I was able to show them my work, so that was pretty cool. And also, I got to meet like amazing uh, uh, people who want to promote Canadian art or Inuit art. So uh, potential partnerships coming along. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, so the project here. Um, I mean, I think I think that when I started it, I maybe didn't realize all of the, the layers of uh, understanding, I guess, of it. It's with time that I realize what it actually means. Um, so I wanted to kind of break uh, the misconception of what an like, Inuit looked like. That was basically like, my start. I wanted to also hint on the like colonial photos they would take of Inuit people. I wanted to like hint on that, like, Create it, make it my own. So as an Inuk, I, I want to take pictures of Inuit to represent who they are today. But uh, with time, I mean, with uh, conversations with other people, uh, I realize it's very much about heritage. It's very much about um, you know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, it's. I'm really happy at how it turned out. Uh, I got some very, because uh, I asked the people I had for, uh, photographed what it meant for them to be, you know. I got some really profound answers. I also got really funny ones, <laughs> which made me like very happy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I wanted to like break, this, like break these stereotypes, you know. So I have a range of different looking people, and uh, and I. And I question about what it means to be in it today, you know? And uh, yeah, it's I'd like to continue it uh, eventually. Maybe uh, more photos of people from Nunavik, actually a book or something. First fun, I'm trying to think. Um, the first time I heard about them, uh, maybe. Was it when there was a Virginia J. Watt Award that was announced? Uh, or maybe before that, I don't know. Um, I kind of vaguely knew about them. Um, but really, I, I started getting involved more with uh, getting, wanting to get to know what they actually as, what they do. Um, so I had applied to the Virginia J. Watt Award because uh, I needed uh, some funds for this, for this project that I wanted to uh, uh, come to life. And so I applied, I was uh, awarded the, the, the award, which is crazy. And uh, I had a chance to, uh, since then, like kind of meet uh, the team. And they are an amazing team. Um, so, uh, so young and like their ideas are so fresh. And I think uh, they bring a different uh, view to, uh, to Inuit art. And, I think they have ideas of how to promote it differently. Um, they're very, uh, uh, what's the word? Um, so much uh, invested in it, and you can tell that it means so much to them to help uh, unique artists. And without them, I don't know if I would have ever had a chance to meet all these amazing people, all these gallerists that I've met. So. Um, yeah.